I think my addiction started from the day I was born. I, I think true addicts such as myself, it's, it's not learned behaviour, it's not a choice. It, it's embedded within us, within our, our, our minds and our bodies. I mean, there was a period of my life in uh, 2007 where I slept one day a week for six months uh, and I completely lost the plot. I, I mean, it was complete cocaine psychosis and I'd just be circling my flat, just going insane like a hamster on a wheel. You know, I, I completely lost my mind. I'm too terrified to go into the centre of town because there were so many people. I thought everybody hated me. I hated everybody else. Yeah, I just didn't care. Like, I mean, I, I had no respect for anybody because I had no respect for myself. I was with my natural mother until I was just over five years old. We were all taken away from her. My twin brother was, was killed. I got married at quite a young age and I had a very um, turbulent marriage, to say the least. I knew I needed something. I knew something was missing and had felt that God had let me down so much. So for quite a few years, um, I was a practicing pagan. When I walked into the church a year ago, I was broken, absolutely smashed to pieces, right? I didn't have God in my life, I didn't have nothing. Um, within a few conversations of talking to Sanjay, Ruth and Sue, I, I was in church every week, you know? I got baptised a few months later. My life opened up, I got closer to God and my life took off. Well, since becoming a Christian, how, how I've changed is I feel, the biggest thing I think is I feel loved. One of the best things about being part of this church community is that we all have different experiences, we've all come from different backgrounds. We are working together to do something positive for the community using those different experiences that we have. In many ways, I think it's really simple. That Jesus was known as someone who became a friend of the people that his society had rejected. So uh, in, in Luke 19, for example, he goes to the house of Zacchaeus, who was a, a hated tax collector, and he has a meal with him. And then he sits down and explains to him uh, how he can know God and, and turn his life around. So, so word and action are going hand in hand in Jesus' life. So that's why uh, we, we welcome those who are hungry and, and feed them through, through Basics Bank and, and offer them support and friendship. And that's why we welcome men to our crossover group and again, just get alongside them. That's why, that's why we want to be uh, friends to, to people who are struggling with debt and need help just to get through that. Cap Money taught me how to budget. So we went through the budgets of our council tax, water rates, TV license, gas, electric, rental. And it was amazing to know that our income and our expenditure were completely different. We're in £24,000 worth of debt. Heather said, don't worry. And it was the first time anybody ever said, don't worry. She said that she would refer me to Cap Money Plus. It took us three years to get out of debt. Cap helped me, but, but God saved me. My life was going the wrong way. And since Jesus entered my life, it's been amazing. And we were baptized two years ago on our wedding anniversary. It brought us closer together as a family. We welcome many people from, from different backgrounds to, to breakfast on Thursday mornings and just give them a taste of, of Christian community and love. Welcome. Enjoy yourself. Thursday mornings are the highlight of my week, doing big breakfast. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love talking to some of the characters. How are you doing, buddy? Yeah, oh, good man. Man. Oh, it's Taking them out of their, their world for, you know, for 20 minutes. Have a chat with them and, and, and uh, you know, about anything, about the football, about weather, whatever makes them happy and takes them out of that despair. And, uh, and you're doing God's work. <laughs> I guess this is also why we get involved uh, with, with SAFE, working in partnership with them to, to help people back into the workplace. A lot of young people come to us and say, actually, my core belief about myself is that I am a failure. I feel like a total failure. And we help them to think actually what is it you've succeeded at in the past and we gradually begin to break down those assumptions that they have about themselves and come up with healthier new beliefs um, that are positive about them and true about them um, giving them hope that actually change is possible um, and they are a person of worth and they do have lots of good things going for them. We like to uh, welcome many different families to pop in 
and uh, just share with them friendship and, and chat through the issues in their lives. I really want to encourage people as part of this church community, not just to sit around waiting for change to happen, but to be the initiators of that change, to see a need and to meet it. If we all do our bit, we offer more people the opportunity to hear about Jesus' love. The big thing for us is that we want to be like Jesus and we want others to come to know him as well because they've seen his love in us and they've heard his good news through us.